I just don't think I ever need to buy a new camera ever again. If I can, if I can go out there and shoot at twenty five thousand six hundred, say, without any undue artifacts or noise, what's the point? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about something that's not quite, it's not brand new, but I've not heard many people on YouTube talking about it. I've not heard anyone talking about it, to be honest. A few months ago, Lightroom added in a AI denoise enhanced feature to the program. And this has been an absolute game changer for me. Um... The images we're going to look at today were taken back in December at Low Barnes Nature Reserve. It was really dark, it was rainy, it was horrible, and everything was shot at 6,400 or higher, 12,800 in some uh, respects. Now, a few years ago, shooting at 12,800 would have been unthinkable. You could shoot it, but you'd never post it. It, look, it, it would just look trash, and... This feature seems to be able to recover through witchcraft and some other Harry Potter magic recover high ISO images to extremely usable quality. What I will say is when we jump into Lightroom in a second, um, I forgot that the... Windows screen capture software, the inbuilt one, doesn't actually, it won't record pop-up dialog boxes and it won't record the the meta information from the top left-hand side of the photograph. So you'll hear me talking about that, but it won't be displayed to you guys. So just know I'm not crazy, it is there, but I completely forgot the software doesn't record those types of things. So I might have to invest in Something like Bandicam. Is Bandicam still going? Anyway, I digress. Right, so without further ado, let's jump into the computer and take a look at these photographs. So here we are in Lightroom. I've got a selection of photographs. Um, all shot at reasonably high ISO values. Um, I think most of these are at 6400. And as you can see, as we zoom in there, you can just see the absolute. I mean, that's 3200. Um, exposure being brought up a bit, two stops. And you can just see the amount of grain. Oh, it's disgusting. Again, just look at the colour. Oh, it's, it's just rotten. Again, looking in at the blue tit's face, you can just see all the the mush and the crap. And it's just it's just horrible. Um, again, up at 6400 ISO. So the setting that we want is in the develop panel, obviously, and it's down in the detail panel. And as you can see there, we'll, we'll set that so it's on the, the bird's eye. <laughs> the bird's eye. And it's this feature here, the denoise AI enhanced feature that we want to take a look at here. And I've already denoised these, I've just got them uh, saved in a different uh, catalogue, not catalogue. Saved in a different grouping. So what I'm going to do here is just click denoise and see what happens. The, uh, the enhanced version is so much better. And it should create a little stack, stack the two images down here. And it'll change the name um, to enhance underscore DNG or something something like that. And there's the enhanced. Again, I think that's probably a little bit over the top, overdone. Um, but as you can see in the background there now, nice and smooth. No more trashy, bitty, grainy bits. And we'll do another one. We'll just have a look at... I'm having a brain fart. Is that a chaffinch or a chiff chaff? I think it's a chaffinch. We'll do this, a little blue tit. And I brought the exposure down on this one because it was just a bit 
it was a bit bright. So again, down to the detail panel here, denoise. We'll pull the denoise down to eighty percent for this one. And again, it just takes a few seconds, a few minutes to process. I did uh, a rugby match a few weeks ago, and I, I denoised the whole album straight away, and it took about forty minutes um, to do a couple of hundred photos. And my system isn't exactly a slouch. Um, so here we go. Here's the denoise, and that looks. At 80%, that looks absolutely fantastic to me. Look at this. Uh, and then we'll look at the one before. So that's the unprocessed one. If you're looking at this area here where there's a, a raindrop uh, that's been caught, and then we go back and uh, look at look how clean that looks in the branch. And we'll look at the other one. And then just look at all that. I've been using this for most of the wildlife shoots that I've been doing uh, for a few months now. And it's been out for a while, um, but I wanted to really get to grips with the ins and outs of it. We'll denoise this one again. I'm going to keep it at 80%. And then look at that. Look at that water droplet on the back of that finch. That is impressive. Yeah, absolutely impressive should we do one more let's have a look at this one again a few seconds to process each time so there's the original and there's the enhanced once again original enhanced it's great living in the future oh Perfectly clean shot at ISO 6400. Not the best shot, obviously, it's just a, a test for this particular video. And just doing that, even at like when it's fit in the the edit loop, um, you can actually see a noticeable difference between the original file and the enhanced file absolutely blown away blown away by this again original file enhanced file you can just see that there's a change in the colors just that micro contrast increases in the uh the enhanced image fantastic stuff fantastic Now, there are other AI denoise programs available, and I am in absolutely no way associated with Adobe. Uh, no one's paying me to say this, this is just my opinion. And I've always found the final image to be either a touch too soft, or there's some kind of artifact or defect within the image that I've just never been overly happy with the end result. But with this from Lightroom, and I don't know if it was this specific shoot but i've been using this for months every single shot you've seen on this channel for the past six to eight months has been through this denoise process if of course it was warranted and i'm just absolutely amazed by the final output it is an absolute game changer right so what do you think guys here's the original here's the enhanced here's an original Here's an enhanced. Blown away. Absolutely blown away by this. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If you've enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop us a comment below. I'll see you, or rather you'll see me, in the next video. Bye for now.